Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to host a static website on AWS using Amazon S3. Now, before we do that, let me quickly show you what we're going to deploy. Now, as you can see here, we have a simple static website created with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There is no server-side processing or anything as such. It's just a pure static website that displays images, as you can see here, we have a couple of AWS certificate batches that you might plan to have in the future if you want to get into cloud computing. Then at the end, we are going to add a custom domain to the website to make it secure. Now, before we begin, let's talk about a few updates on AWS. There is a new way to host a static website on AWS, and it includes Amazon S3 as well as AWS Amplify Hosting, right? Now, if you've done this in the past, you might know that you only have to use Amazon S3 to host a static website. And at least as of right now, you can still do that. But there have been some changes on AWS very recently, and the recommendation changed to use AWS Amplify Hosting to host static website content stored on S3, as you can see from this article here. So we are going to use Amplify Hosting instead of only S3. So what I'd like to do is to draw an architecture diagram to make it easy to understand. First, you as a developer, you're going to upload and store your files to S3 bucket. Then for hosting, you're going to use Amplify, which will automatically create an app for you and locate the object store in S3 bucket. Now, Amplify Hosting is a fully managed service that makes it easy to deploy your website on a globally available CDN which stands for Content Delivery Network, and is powered by Amazon CloudFront, allowing secure static website hosting. Now, in addition to that, you can add your custom domain name using Amazon Route 53. So without further ado, let's dive into the AWS Management Console. Now, the first step, we are going to create an S3 bucket. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to Amazon S3. Now, Amazon S3 is a simple storage service. It's basically a web-based cloud storage service that allows users to store, retrieve, and manage data from anywhere. And this is what we're going to use to store our data. Now, from here, click Create Bucket. Here, give your bucket a name. I'll name it my static website, 568. So keep the default settings here, then click Create Bucket. And now the bucket has been created. Here we have my static website. Next, we're going to upload files and folders to this bucket. To do that, click up here, view details. Now this is where we need to upload our files. Click upload. I will locate the source code of the website. Here's the code. If you want to use this code, I'll put the link in the description below. Feel free to download it and use it for this tutorial. Then I'm going to drag and drop it here. Now, once you're done, click on Upload. Here, the upload is completed. You can see here your files inside the S3 bucket. Now, next, we need to host the static website. Here, click Properties, then scroll down to Static Website Hosting. Now, remember, if you've done this in the past, you might know that to host your static website on Amazon S3, it was just to enable static website hosting on S3 by clicking Edit here, and here you enable. And you can still do that, at least for now, but now the recommendation is to go with Amplify instead. So now there is a new way to host a static website on AWS and it includes S3 as well as Amplify Hosting. So here, let's click on Create Amplify App. That will open up a new tab and take us to the Amplify Console. And here, it's basically creating a new app for us. And it's linking it up to the S3 bucket. And all we have to do is to click Save and Deploy. All right, looks like that worked. Let's click on our domain URL here. And there's my website. 
awesome. Now, something that happened in the back end that you might not notice unless you did it in the past is that if you go to the S3 bucket and click on permissions tab, then under bucket policy, now here you used to have to manually enter a policy that will give access to the files in the bucket. Otherwise, you will get a permission denied error. But we don't have to do that anymore. With Amplify, you'll see the policy gets filled in automatically for us and we don't get any sort of access denied. Now you might be wondering, why would I do this with Amplify when I can still just do it the old way by enabling an S3 bucket to host a static website? Now it's because you get extra features with Amplify. Now from the Amplify console, if you go to hosting, here we have build notifications, we've got access control, we've got rewrites and redirects, you've got custom domains, custom headers, and then we've got uh, monitoring with CloudWatch to monitor your website. So just generally, you get more features when you are using Amplify as opposed to just using S3. Now next, let's try to add a custom domain name to our static website using Amazon Route 53. This step is optional, but I just want to show you how you can easily connect a custom domain name to your app. So let's click Add Domain. So here, if you have a domain registered through Route 53, you can easily add it here. And if you don't have one, for example, let's just type something here. I'll type uh, Julien aws.com and check the availability of that and it's available and from here I can purchase it on route 53 and then hook it up to my website or if you're not using Amazon route 53 to manage your domain you can add a custom domain managed by a third-party DNS provider for example like GoDaddy or Hostinger you can as well use this option to deploy your app with Amplify. I'll use this option because I have a domain registered through Hostinger. So it's julienmouquet.tech. So now Amplify detects that I'm not using a Route 53 domain and gives me the option to create a hosted zone on Route 53. Now, a hosted zone on Amazon Route 53 is basically a collection of DNS records that specify how to route traffic for a domain or a subdomain. Here, Amplify will automatically create a hosted zone for you. So you'll select Create Hosted Zone on Route 53, then click Configure Domain. Now, the next step here is to copy the hosted zone name servers, these four name servers here and paste them into your domain registrar. So I'll go to Hostinger, then go to DNS settings and change the name server. Let me go ahead and do that. Then hit save. Now once you're done, select I have added the above name servers to my domain registry. Here we have the subdomains, you can add more if you want. And lastly, we need to add a custom SSL certificate. So here you can either use the default managed certificates that amplify provisions for you, or you can add a custom third party certificate that you have imported into AWS certificate manager. I'll use the default amplify managed certificates, then click add domain. Amazon amplify will create, configure the SSL certificate and activate your domain. All right. Once the domain is activated, Visit your custom domain URL. And there's my website. Awesome. And it's working. And as you can see here, it's secure with a valid SSL certificate from AWS. So quick note here, once you're done with this tutorial, make sure you shut down and delete all the resources used in this tutorial so you won't encounter any charges from AWS. First, I'm going to delete my Amplify app. Then I'm going to delete my S3 bucket. I'll first empty the S3 bucket. Then I'll delete the S3 bucket.
The other thing is to delete the hosted zone created on route 53. Go to route 53 and then hosted zone. Then delete the DNS records. All right, that's it. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more AWS tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.